Am I gonna feel a lot? You're gonna feel the poke from the numbing medicine. Okay. Can I see that? Does it hurt? I've had one hell of a experience on Nexplanon because I have been pregnant and that's the whole point is to not get pregnant and also I didn't even know I was pregnant obviously for the longest time I was 20 weeks when I lost the baby it's been a roller coaster with this birth control hi you guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are talking all about Nexplanon I wanted to start off this video with it's basically everything you guys need to know about Nexplanon. Everyone has different experiences and different side effects, but I wanted to give you guys my experience and what I've been through on Nexplanon because you guys, some serious tea, like it's been crazy. And I'm also going to tell you if I recommend it or not, but um, I've had one hell of a experience on Nexplanon. So let's go ahead and let's jump into this video. Also, if you guys are new here, my name is Noelle. I do all kinds of minimal mama content here on my channel. We vlog, we do sit down videos like this that are more informative and hopefully you guys have a takeaway from this channel and from this video or any video that I do. But yeah, so if you guys like our content, I would hope you would consider subscribing and all of that good jazz. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's jump into this video. Okay, starting out by saying, what is Nexplanon? Nexplanon is a arm implant that goes in your arm. I'll show you guys mine. You can see like the outline of it or whatever. But um, if you guys can see, you really can't. Can you guys see that? Yes, I am still on Nexplanon and I have had some really crazy experiences with it, unfortunately. Um, it's supposed to be a low pregnancy rate and I believe it is, but maybe I was just like the rare case, I don't know. But if you guys are new here on my channel, I was recently pregnant last year and I was on Nexplanon so it was a big shock. And it was crazy, and we actually ended up losing our baby, so I'm sure Nexplanon probably played a big part in that because I was on it, <laughs> and I'm still on it. My doctor just recommended me to stay on it because it is lower, but you guys, I am not going to stay on it. I have plans on changing it really soon, actually, because I am over it. I'm over the symptoms, and yeah, so I already off the bat don't really recommend it. I'm just gonna say that now it's it lasts for three years and it's a surgical implant like I said that goes into your arm and yes you have to get it put in and taken out so it is a foreign object that has um, you know hormones and stuff like that in it to help you from getting pregnant or just got my uh, next one on so I armored up to stop you from getting pregnant but if you do get pregnant there's a high chance it will be a miscarriage or um, a not viable pregnancy or a ectopic pregnancy so there's that <laughs> it is next one on is covered by most insurance if it's not if it's not covered by your insurance though it's about like a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars just for the implant alone and then I think it's like three hundred dollar cost or so just to put it in and take it out. You have to pay three hundred dollars like separate. That's what my doctor was telling me so that is crazy so if you can't afford it if you don't have it on your insurance I feel like it's so hard to afford a thousand fifteen hundred dollar birth control implant when you can take the pill or something else that's a lot cheaper you know so i mean most insurances like i said cover it so there's that and that's great but if your insurance does not cover it girl i would look for other options just look for other options in my opinion okay so um my experience i've had it for two years so far and like i said has been a little bit crazy or a lot of bit crazy over these two years um, the process of getting it in I wanted to go over that with you guys because this is literally a video all about next one everyone's situation is different and symptoms are different but I also asked you guys on Instagram if you're not following me over there you should because that's where we do like a lot of daily content a lot of updates a lot of like polls and stuff for these kinds of videos and so 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 Many of you guys had so many things to say about Nexplanon that are on it. A lot of you guys got off of it, which was really interesting to me because I was kind of shocked by that. And I was like, oh, this is some tea. 
most of you guys that were on it got off of it for so many different reasons mainly being mood swings and depression um a lot of random bleeding which we'll get into a little bit more i don't know so many different reasons you guys got it taken out and i was just shocked by that so i was like oh i'm not the only one that doesn't really care for this implant so the process of getting it in um so the first thing they do is they you know you go to the doctor you tell them what you want you go over your options and they're like oh you want next one okay let me grab it for you so they grab it for you um does it hurt it does not hurt so what they do is they clean the surface they um give you a lidocaine shot which is general anesthesia so it's just a shot the shot does you know it does hurt and it's a shot and lidocaine in specific um has like a burning kind of feel when you get it so i've had a lot of lidocaine kind of in my life so i already knew what to expect with that so that part was uncomfortable like it always is um whenever you get lidocaine anywhere so they give you the injection and then they take um they ask you if you're numb there they poke you with the scalpel to see if you can feel it so if you can feel it let them know but you're probably not going to be able to feel it so i was like no i can't feel it so then they cut you open like a little incision probably like about that big so like a few centimeters so nothing huge nothing major and then they stick this like kind of reminds me of like a piercing gun when you get your ears pierced but um it has the next one on like little rod in it so they do that they stick it in the little hole and they shoot you up with that next one on real quick and really that's it and then they put like a little band-aid over it or whatever and then they bandage your arm up and they say you can't get it wet for about like 24 hours or so and then you have to take the bandage off i think like the second day after 48 hours and then your arm is sore for like two weeks pretty sore you will have some bruising so nothing too major getting it um in and taking it out i haven't taken it out yet but i you know made sure i asked my doctor what the procedure was for that and all the steps for that and it's pretty simple same thing lidocaine cut you open and take it out but if you notice this is like a huge warning if you notice your implant moves anywhere like if it's not in the place the only place that it should be is right there in your arm and if you can't feel it or can't find it immediately contact your doctor you could be at risk for some really crazy serious dangerous things so please contact your doctor if you're experiencing any kind of movement in your implant where it's moving places please contact your doctor now let's get into some of the symptoms a lot of you guys said depression and mood swings were like major with this birth control i definitely definitely have been experiencing some bouts of depression and i mean like some serious bouts of depression sometimes i don't even know what's wrong with me i'm just like like really down really in like a rut and just sad so you guys i don't know this birth control i think has a lot of side effects unfortunately just in my opinion and my experience but yeah a lot of you guys are saying mood swings and depression and i completely completely agree with you guys um the pregnancy rate is supposed to be very low but i can't really attest to that but yeah in my personal experience like i can't say like it really works well for me because i have been pregnant and that's the whole point is to not get pregnant so definitely don't appreciate that but they do say it's really rare so maybe i'm just really fertile um but unfortunately yeah so that happened and that wasn't fun to go through and it's still really hard to go through you guys it has been just a roller coaster it's been a roller coaster with this birth control and also i didn't even know i was pregnant obviously for the longest time i was i was like about 20 weeks when i lost the baby but i didn't even know that i was that i was pregnant up until like a few weeks before that and um yeah it was just it was really crazy it was really crazy and then i had my appointment to take out the birth control and all of that stuff which i think they should have done right away as soon as they knew i was pregnant but they didn't which is really strange to me too like why not like that maybe we could things could have been different you know what i'm saying hmm you guys i don't even know but 
yeah so there's that random bleeding oh my gosh you guys this is so annoying about the birth control so i asked my doctor before i got it like hey what is the most common thing that people complain about this birth control because i wanted to know girl i wanted to know what was up and she said oh like mainly just random bleeding i was like okay like i can handle that she's like you're probably not gonna have a period whatever whatever you guys like i didn't have a period for like the longest time like for the first year being on it but then again i did just have a baby so that and i've been exclusively breastfeeding so there could have been that but then i started having like all of this random bleeding like i do not like that like i bleed twice a month instead of just once a month for my period i don't know and then recently i just had a really long spout of bleeding for like it was really heavy for like a week and a half to the point where i was getting scared and was like do i need to go to the hospital and like see what's going on and there was clumps like cell clumps in there so i just hope i didn't like miscarry again and just didn't know but you guys i just don't think this is working for me anymore and i need to change it up and take it out and try some different options a lot of you guys sent me some really good alternatives and options i really want to go with something that doesn't have hormones in it if i can if it's possible like a hormone free birth control because i don't think putting something foreign in your body that has hormones is good for your body there's it just can't be it can't be and i like to be pretty natural so that kind of freaks me out in the first place that i have something in my body like that um i was just trying to prevent another pregnancy right now because we just don't have space and room in our life at the moment for another kid but i i don't know you guys and i also feel like the random bleeding is so annoying because it'll come like every other week and last for a little bit and i feel like it, it can affect your sex life that's what some of you guys were telling me too and i totally agree it definitely can affect your sex life when you're trying to you know do the do or whatever and you can't because you're you're bleeding unless your dude doesn't care which i mean i'm not gonna go all into that because that's like our personal business but um yeah i definitely feel like it can affect your sex life when you're trying to do all of that but you're bleeding like isn't birth birth control supposed to help with that and like bring that down so it's not so much and you don't even have your period every month every month is what you're hoping for okay so weight gain did i gain any extra unnecessary weight that i noticed before that i did not experience but a few of you guys did tell me you experienced some weight gain so like i said everybody's experience and side effects and symptoms are different so it's kind of hard to really gauge and listen to just one person so if you're gonna if you're thinking about getting next one on i highly 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 recommend to go watch all kinds of videos talk to your doctor about it a few times maybe before you decide on getting it but um i didn't experience any extra weight gain that i noticed maybe i did but i didn't notice it so that is a pro for me at least that didn't happen because i know with birth controls you can experience some unwanted weight gain and nobody wants that no one needs any extra extra pounds over here okay but um yes so no weight gain for me but you guys have told me that you have experienced that so again watch several videos do a lot of research before you decide on a birth control because it is important it's something that you're putting in your body and you want to make sure it's going to be a good choice and a good decision for you make sure you're monitoring these things these symptoms so you can know whether or not to stick with it or ditch it you know Okay, so here's a pro since we've been kind of negative on this next one on. Um, a pro is that I like you don't have to take it every day. You don't have to remember to take it, which is something that is great because mama would have like 10 kids by now if I had to remember to take a birth control every day. So I definitely need something that's I don't have to take every day that it could just be there and just be there because i don't have time not that i don't have time but i just can't remember to take it every day i feel like even if i set an alarm i feel like there's going to be some days that i forget or skip or something's going to happen and y'all know what happens when you skip or forget to take the pill so i like that 
So yeah, again, if you do experience any moving in your birth control rod, please make sure you contact your doctor. I haven't experienced that, thank God. But if you do experience that, please contact your doctor. Do not hesitate. I definitely think it could be serious from what I'm reading and what I'm hearing. If your birth control moves, it could be serious. So please contact your doctor. Don't hesitate to do that. Um, final thoughts. I feel like this birth control can work for, you know, some people, majority of people. But for me personally, it's just not working out and I don't recommend it. I can't sit here and say I do because I don't. I don't like it. I've had some major issues with it and some heartbreak I feel like due to it and I just it ain't for me you guys I don't like it I don't like it but you know you never know just because I don't like it and it didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you so like I said I can't urge you guys enough do your research talk to your doctor watch videos talk to fam family and friends that you know that have had it or just see what they're on see what works for them you guys just explore your options and don't be afraid to do so you don't ever just have to be pressured or feel rushed just to pick anything do your research it's your body and you deserve that and you need to do research and just weigh out all the pros and cons and stuff like that but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was informative i hope it helps somebody out there that's deciding to get next one on or thinking about it or whatever um i don't want to scare anybody either that's not the purpose of this video i just want to share my experience be helpful hopefully to somebody and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one make sure you like subscribe all of that good stuff and i will see you in the next one bye also if you guys want to see and see the vlog because i vlogged when i actually got the birth control put in it's an older vlog obviously because it's like almost two years ago um yeah i vlogged it so if you guys want to see that vlog i'll leave it down below and you guys can check it out and i talk more in the moment about how i felt and if it hurt like all of that stuff even though we talked about it here if you guys want to go watch that vlog feel free whatever but 